Good evening, FHS Wildcats and parents, and welcome to our 2020-2021 virtual orientation. I wanted to take just a few minutes before we start giving directions about orientation to fill you in on our mission and vision and instructional focus for the year. Our mission and vision remains the same here at Forest High School. We as a staff will do whatever it takes, for however long it takes, to provide your student with a successful high school experience. In short, our motto this year is whatever it takes. We are pleased to be an AVID school this year. During our AVID classes and throughout all of our teaching, students will practice WICKER strategies to enhance their learning opportunities. WICKER stands for writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and reading. Students, you will be practicing all five of these strategies in every classroom that you attend every day. In addition to being an AVID school, we will also practice the three R's, rigor, relevance, and most importantly, relationships. Even today, as teachers are planning lessons for next week, they are keeping in mind the level of rigor of each lesson in each activity that students will participate in. We are also looking at the relevance of each of our curriculum steps to make sure that our students understand that what they are learning today in the halls of Forest High School will pertain to them throughout life. But most importantly, we are working to build relationships with our students, relationships that are lifelong, that are motivational and positive in their high school experience. So remember students, not only are we an AVID school, but we're also focused on the three R's. So get ready to have a growth mindset and let's see all the great things you can accomplish this year. Now we'll move into the directions for orientation. In just a few moments, students, you will be able to access your schedule on Skyward. A note on schedules. We wanted to have orientation early this year so that you would know ahead of time what you needed to start your successful school year. However, by holding orientation earlier, some of the schedules are still in need of changes. If you need a schedule change, please listen carefully. Juniors and seniors that need a schedule change to match their graduation requirements may email their guidance counselor starting Tuesday morning and lasting through Wednesday evening. Sophomores and freshmen that need schedule changes to courses that are required, you may email your guidance counselor beginning Thursday morning through Friday afternoon. Phone calls will only be served as messages. Guidance counselors will check emails to make class changes as necessary. When you pull your student's schedule, you may then go into our teacher website area on our homepage. Each teacher has updated their website, has an introductory video, and their course syllabus posted. Please feel free to visit each teacher's website to gather the information about that course. We appreciate you attending our virtual orientation tonight. This video, as well as all of the teachers' websites, will be accessible for the rest of the week. Thank you, have a great evening, and we look forward to seeing you August 24th. Now stay tuned for a message from our SGA membership about CDC guidelines and safety protocol while on the Forest High School campus. Hey Forrest, I'm Chloe, this is Rachel, and that's Kat, and we're from your SGA. We're super excited for our return to campus, but this year is going to look a little different. We're going to have to implement some new safety guidelines, and we're going to tell you about those today. One of the biggest changes this year is the requirement of face masks. Those recommended are face masks, face shield, or any covering that securely covers your nose and mouth. In those rare moments when you won't be wearing a face covering, it is crucial to maintain a social distance from others of at least six feet or more for your safety and theirs. A big adaptation to our new school procedures is the change in the flow of traffic in the hallways. In the rotunda, the movement will be in a clockwise rotation. As for the hallways, make sure to pay attention to posted signs and arrows, and also pay attention to teachers and administration who are helping to guide you. Another guideline we're working to follow is keeping our classrooms clean during and between classes. We're doing this by wiping surfaces down and using hand sanitizer. We want this year to be full of wildcat spirit and the best way to make that happen is to follow these guidelines. And remember, if you're not feeling good, it's okay to stay home. This has been Rachel, Chloe, and Kat. We can't wait to see you August 24th.